Hello everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here, and welcome back. Today I would like to do a different kind of video. Today we are talking about writing, and if this isn't your kind of video, no worries, I'll see you again next time. But for those of you still here, I love writing and being creative, and I thought today would be a good day to share some of my tips and tricks for four tips I think every writer should know. And granted, this is all just my opinion, so if at any point you want to click off and don't agree, that is fine. Just know it is my opinion and my advice. So let's just jump right in. Tip number one, let your work speak for you. Let your work take flight. You know, the best thing about writing is sometimes you have this mind idea, this plan, this map of what you're going to write, and then while writing it, you just get really into it and you start to get in depth with it and you start to have the story run on its own and let that feeling happen because that is one of the biggest things is sometimes you just start writing and it just seems to flow. You just seem to find a rhythm and sometimes your words and characters seem to take on personalities you originally didn't have planned for them, but that's okay. That's your writing telling you and speaking to you and wanting things to happen that your mind maybe didn't think of before. Tip number two is copycats are kind of overrated. The thing about copycatting is I wouldn't plagiarize or encourage plagiarizing anything or anyone's work, anything like that. But to say that a trope is overdone or overused or you don't want to do it because it's so overdone and overused is is a hard excuse because here's the thing your writing and your special touch of what kind of writing and humor you have is what's going to make your story different from anybody else's story maybe the dude next to you is writing the same exact story but it's those two different perspectives and those two different kinds of thinking that are going to make your stories wildly different even if they're the same concept tip number three is to watch out for brian griffin syndrome this is something i personally came up with um um, it's something I have suffered with before is what I mean by Brian Griffin syndrome is essentially sometimes as writers and especially writers who have been doing it for a while doing it right now writers tend to think after doing it for a while or if they have a lot of pieces become experts on their skill and that they know all the things there are to know about writing and the fact is everybody is still learning even if you've been doing it for years there's always things you didn't think of and there's always times to learn more and i myself need to get better at it because i'm very stubborn and i very much don't want to admit that i don't know what i'm doing with writing there are lots of things i still need to work on be proud of your work keep it up stay humble fourth and final tip is from a post i read on facebook that i'll flash up here um, you are still an artist. Your art still matters even if financially you had to get a different job and you can't do art as your financial like job. Art still matters even if other people tell you it doesn't. Your art still matters even if you can't do it all the time and lacking inspiration sometimes. And it definitely still matters even if you don't do it for a while. I know myself, I have not written in a long time and I feel like that kind of makes me feel like not a writer anymore and that's just not true your art still matters you still have a lot to say just maybe take some time for you and you will get back into it And if you don't that's fine but your art that you did create still matters thank you so much for watching and i hope this helped in any way to anybody and i really thank you guys for hanging around with me and listening to me ramble i hope it was helpful and if you're still around and stuck around till the end, let me know in the comments below by commenting your favorite book or series. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.